The shooting with a fully automatic rifle with presumably a drum mag or something like that. Obviously, it wasn't addressed by Bill C-71, Bill C-21, the so-called assault-style weapons ban, the handgun freeze, any of the amendments that made it and didn't make it through into Bill C-21, and all of the Liberal Party rhetoric. And that's a type of firearm that has been banned in Canada since 1977, right? But just sidestep all of that stuff because criminals will get a hold of these firearms, whatever firearm they want, by either illegally importing it from anywhere in the world or manufacturing them themselves. When things like this, when you ignore firearm-related violence, you attack only licensed gun owners because it's politically convenient for you. This is the stuff that continues to happen and in this case has escalated to the point of full autos. But wait, it gets actually worse. So not only did he not just shoot the people he was there to shoot, he sprayed bullets down the street into other houses. The level of impact to public safety that something like this has is immeasurable. This is 